Welcome back to the channel everyone. So ever since I did my first video on this cheap eBay plasma cutter that I bought, uh, people have been asking me for an update video on how it works, how much I'm using it, and also when I first did that I explained in the video, which I'm going to put down here in the everyone fight with each other typey parts. These are these run on 110 or 220 and they come wired for 110 so people can use them homeowners and whatnot but they do not make their full 50 amps of cutting capability unless you wire them for 220 and my buddy Mark has already wired his for 220 and told me that it does work a lot better on 220. So the plan here is to pop this thing open, uh, change out the cord for an ordinary dryer cord that I can plug into my welder socket which is 220 and then see how the thing cuts because I've got a whole bunch of fab work to do on this thing that involves cutting 3 8 plate and this thing will cut quarter inch pretty easily the way it is. 3 8 is iffy and you get a really slow and it really won't cut half inch very well at all. It wanders through the bottom of the cut and makes a huge mess. I can see up on the wall I've got some dryer cords so we're all set there. It's going to make sure I get one with the right plug arrangement. So let me go get a couple of nut drivers. It looks like Phillips heads. Pop this thing open, get the cord changed out. Looks like to get the top off, we have to loosen up both end plates. It's going to be plastic end plates. Up here to overlap. Yeah. Metal sides. Now, Mark simply made an adapter plug to go from a 220 volt plug to the 110 plug. So he's getting 220 on it, but I think he's still missing maybe a little bit of capacity because the cord that comes on these things to power them is really light. It's like what would come on a super cheap Chinese-made grinder. Big surprise, because this is a cheap Chinese-made plasma cutter. Maybe we don't need to get the front plate all the way off. We'll see. Tear it apart even farther than I need to. I know I need to get the rear plate at least. The rear plate does not have a whole bunch of stuff going through it. Okay, so I have it all wired up, it's plugged in. Now comes the part where I uh, flip the breaker and hope it doesn't go when I turn it on. Okay, 220 volts is now live. Flip the switch on the back of the unit, see if it explodes. So far, so good. Okay, so. I've got a piece of 3 8 plate here, all cleaned up, ready to try this thing out on it. We're gonna see if it will reliably cut some 3 8 Now before it would cut 3 8 but only just. It was spattery and not working great. We'll see what happens now. all the way up here. Now she's set on 50 amps, the air's set. on uh, 220 volts is 
twice the machine it was. I'm gonna guess I was getting maybe 30 amps before. This thing wouldn't cut three eighths like that. That's a horrible cut. I was going too fast in some places, too slow in others, but wow, it works great. So this is just the cheap Chinese off of eBay. I already did a video on it, like I said, that'll be down in the comment section. And uh, I can say now, after using this thing for a while, um, and I've used it a bunch before I put the 220 to it and it was working good then. This thing is awesome. That was 3 8 plate and zapped through it. No problem at all. I bet I can probably go slow and cut half inch now. I don't have a piece handy or I'd try it. But we'll find out. But now I can do some of the fab work I need to do on the FJ because it's definitely going to require quite a bit of cutting. and. Something else coming up I'm going to use on the FJ. Uh, what's that hiding under there? Uh, I got me a nice big 220 volt Airco welder. And in a very, very shortly upcoming video. Whoa! In a shortly upcoming video, we'll be uh, checking out how that thing works. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching, folks. I can tell you I definitely recommend these Cut 50s. I mean, this is, I don't even remember what the actual brand on this one is. It doesn't matter if you're buying a Cut 50. Just look for the features that you want. Make sure it's got a pilot arc because that makes it cut a lot easier. And I highly recommend wiring them up to 220 just as soon as you get it. Unless you only have 110. That's one of the nice things about them. They will work on 110. So, there you go. Update on the Cut 50. And an upgrade to 220 and it works awesome. Zap right through some 3 8 plate. Made the ugliest cut ever because I suck, but I'm working on it. Thanks for watching, folks. Have a good one.